Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Howdy guys, this is Silent Senior 9, and this is Let's Play Major Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And allow me to point this out to you. Check this out. There's where the tip of the sword ends, and there's where the freaking handle begins. Holy mother of Zolo. Just what? What the fudge, man? Who... Who in their right mind can wield that? Like, seriously. This thing's huge, man. It's huge. I'm not even kidding you. It's freaking... Good lord, man. I just... My mind is blown. I didn't even know that existed. And I was just kind of looking around aimlessly. Anyhow. <laughs> before we get too detract... Uh, de detracted? No. Distracted. And then get detracted from our main goal in mind. Which is to finish up all the crap we gotta do, which I seem to take an eternity to get on the ball with. I'm sorry about that, guys. Between getting in, between, uh, orientation week at the university, that was actually back in January, and I was really struggling to balance things in. And then on top of that, I've got one class that kept, that keeps piling on all these random and just plain ridiculous assignments for group work, and I'm like, it's an online class. Guys, or teacher, come on now. You're killing me here. You're killing me with all these assignments. I mean, seriously, if you're going to give me an assignment, make it freaking single, each to their own. Don't make us have to work in a group and communicate. I mean, oh, gosh. Anyway, me, bitch, moaning and whining aside. Um, hope you all are doing great. I do apologize for not updating in, like, three weeks, maybe. I think it's been three weeks. But real quick, uh, I guess a fast update. As you can see, I'm no longer doing the previously part. I find that is just too superfluous and no longer needed, so I'm not doing it. And off to the left of my videos, you'll notice that the uh, vertical line is no longer in existence. So, yay for that. And yeah, that's pretty much all the updates anybody missed if you didn't watch my Super Mario Sunshine episode. Ouch! Watch out! Stop, thief! Give the old lady her luggage back! You little dirtbag! Eat an arrow! I said eating arrow. Boom! Holy crap. Oops. Um, old lady, I'm sorry. Well, I stopped a thief. Oh my, you think it'll never happen to you? Well, now I've learned my lesson. Don't let a boy with arrows save you. <laughs> sorry, lady. Anyway, that was, that's just something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's probably everybody has showed you, but I figured, oh well, it's worth it. Might as well start the episode off with that. You can actually blow up Sack and a Thief by shooting an arrow at him. But that's actually not the main reason I did that. There's actually some other reason I wanted to do that for. But that'll become pertinent later. For now, let's go ahead and stop by the latte. I believe we need to have the member's mask. Welcome. Please show proof of membership. Of course. If you remember a while back, we actually picked up a mask. Or didn't pick it up, but we were given the Romani's Ranch mask. And that's going to prove that we are adult enough to enter the nightclub here, man. I mean, seriously. Hello? We're Link, man. We're the hero of time. I think we're manly enough to handle the man's bar. I mean, check this guy out. He would agree with me, right? How you doing, dude? Hey, you! Milk. It's milk! Can you get tipsy from something like milk? <laughs> Uh, apparently you can. Who knew, though? Actually, he does have a neat little story. I'm gonna go ahead and let him show or show you, tell it to you guys. So excuse him while I do that. Let him do that. What? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> anyway, I'm just the despised second son. I can't handle horses like my older brother. I can't take care of horses like my younger brother. I left the ranch. Came to know the world of show business. Traveled around. But for what? For nothing! Oh, I just had to enter the world of entertainment, didn't I? It's cold. So cold. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Hey, dude, how you doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. He just tells me about the... Yeah, the milk road and da-da-da. Yeah, we already know about that. That's old news. Let's see, did I do this? Yeah, I think I did already, but yeah, if you talk to him, he'll sell you either regular milk, which restores hearts, and has two fillings, I believe, or chat 2 milk, which 
as I said, I'll get into later, uh, it has something to do with your magic meter, basically, but yeah, it's pretty handy. Alrighty, so now we're up here. Let's go ahead and talk to Toad. Actually, I think I better talk to him down here. Might look like I'm talking down to him, you know. I'm already talking down to him as is. He's kind of short. Oh, we were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place was a, has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame, really. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would be, have been like. Hey, you. Yeah? Could you help with the performance? Sure, let's do this. Oh, wow, let's check out the spotlights. Okay, you play the arena? Right. Go stand under the center spotlight. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Okay, play your arena like this. Alrighty, so you don't have to play it like exactly the way it sounds, but I'm going to try and match it as close as I can just because... I'm a show off like that, I guess. Bit of a showboating going. Ooh, I like that news. Nose. Did I say nose? Really? I like that noise and those notes. That's what I meant to say, but I guess those kinda the note the word notes and noise kinda got combined together. I hate that when that happens, and it just makes it like butchers your language what you meant to say exactly. It's just annoying. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, we're kind of making some racket here on stage according to Ingo, but our good friend Toto seems to appreciate it, so we'll just continue by adding more to the performance. Let's see if we can't add some trumpets, shall we? Ah, so we're gonna go to the front left, let's do that, right over here. Okay, now play your pipes like this. Oh, I wish I had like a set of wind pipes from, whatchamacallit, not wind pipes, I was thinking of what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of, like, an Irish instrument. Bagpipes! There we go. I wish we had bagpipes. I don't know why. I just feel like that would capture the Irish image that you get sometimes when you play Zelda games, really. At least in Wind Waker, I get that, I get that feeling sometimes whenever I listen to it. It's like an Irish sense to it. Oh, you and your ratchet racket. To each their own, you know? You gotta understand. What sounds good to someone may sound like crap to the other, or what sounds like garbage to one person may sound like pure beautiful music to another, you know? Anyway, I just think music's kind of one of those subjective things, just like sense of hum senses of humor. Yeah, I think I actually... Yeah, that's how it went. Cool. I was wondering if I did that, where I was like, hmm... I know it went do 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 like, it kind of a ba da ba bum Boom, but um, boom. Yeah, I like that kind of. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That ratchet senseless racket. Oh, somebody peed in your Cheerios, man. I'm sorry, but well, you got to ruin here for everybody else. Seriously. All right, so I guess the last instrument we got to introduce is Maikus. By the way, I don't think I introduced or introduced said what we were doing. I'm going I'm going through this and kind of playing different playing different. Using different masks to play different instruments. And what you want to do is you want to keep doing this until you got all four of the characters music or music oh, ocarina. Instruments played on stage and then basically you'll get the reward what you're planning to do. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Love that. That's I love the way the Zelda games do that. Bravo! Yes, it was the best. Ooh, excellent conducting, sir. That, that melody. That melody. It brings back so many memories. Ah, it's the old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indigo Goes made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. Ah, the one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. Wait, Lulu had a mother? Wow. Learn some new every day. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. So, you in a better mood now? 
I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. We got the circus leader's mask. This mask looks so sad. Yes, indeed. This mask really isn't all that useful, but it will play a part and role later. It also has like a second feature you can use it for, aside from leaving a trail of tears behind you as you walk. I'll go ahead and show it to you right now. It's kind of scary, actually. It's... It, or not scary, it's funny. Like, seriously, if you run, look. Mommy! They were mean to me, they booed me up the stage, you know? <laughs> I don't know, that was just stupid. But yeah, that's just something you can do with that. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do now? I do need to go by Great Bay. Is it Great Bay? No. What do I want to do? Am I in the east? I'm in... I need to get to the west. I'll meet you guys out in Terminate Field outside the western portion. I'm actually in the mood to kind of watch some Indiana Jones for some reason. I haven't... Dude! Go, go away! Seriously. Die! Go die in a hole. Go die in a fire. Go freaking die! You bunch of nasties. Leavers. I tell you what. Whoever thought it was funny to invent those creatures. Ooh. You got another thing coming to you. I swear to goodness. Ooh. Just infuriate... Those guys infuriate me. Oh, jeez. I'll take that back. Maybe they're not as infuriating as these guys. Anyway, out here in Termina Field, as you saw that I smashed that boulder. That boulder, man. Those boulders just need to stay out of my way. Seriously. Anyway, underneath there is this room in here, filled with water, two bio deku babas, some lily pads, and some honey honeycombs. I always think of Banjo-Kazooie whenever I say that. No. Uh, beehives, actually. <laughs> you, what you want to do is you want to smash, or smash, shoot an arrow through that one. I think that's the one, yeah. Then a heart piece is going to drop to the bottom of the water here after that smashes and hits the ground here. And that there's an easy heart piece that you can pick up right then and there. Actually, you could have taken care of that, like, a lot sooner. I was just being a dumb butt and didn't think to do that. That and there was just so much to do in the Western Great Bay. Like, seriously, there's still one other thing. Die! Die! I said die, darn you, you nasty! You nasty! Jeez. Anyway, like I was saying, there's still one more thing I gotta do in Great Bay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I will see you guys in the Great Bay portion uh, in just a moment. So, see ya! Oh! Okie dokie, artichokies, I'm back. We're here on the Great Bay Coast. And right over here is our favorite, ever so lovely fisherman, Hojoy. Just a quick reminder, in order to be able to have him over here and to do this, you need to have beaten Georg of the Great Bay Temple. And you need it to be morning, but you can't have it too early or too late. Uh, now that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed at tourists. Yeah, well, you got some crappy business hours. I have to say this out loud, sir, because even though you can't hear me, I'm the silent protagonist. I must just... I must express my displeasure in just saying that you have a really crummy... I just... Ugh, I won't even. We won't go there. Anyway... So he have he's gonna have us come into the center here, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, you're up for it. Now then I'll explain a few rules, so listen carefully. I'm gonna light the torches on each of the surrounding four islands in a particular order. You have to jump to the island that has the lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you'll get a point. If you get twenty more points within the time limit, you'll get a big prize, but it'll cost you twenty rupees for one try. So how about it? Will you give it a try? Sure. Great, in that case I'll start. Oh, joy. This ought to be fun. I'm alright at this challenge, but I'm not really all that great as far as, like, knowing expertly where to go next. You know, I'm not great at predicting or anything like that. and Or navigating the camera very effectively, if you know what I mean. It's just, ugh. Oh yeah, one thing I should probably point out, and I'm going to do so very carefully so I don't actually do this in action. Well, crap! Oh yeah, if you fall, then... Yeah, that's it. You'll have to try again. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. That's another thing. He fails to mention that you lose if you also fall in the water. But, you know, you kind of figure that. But 
the way... Yeah, the way. All you have to do if you want to restart the challenge is come to the center again and listen to him do the annoying rule spiel and then play, pay another 20 rubies to play again. Oh boy, here we go. Fail city. Round two. Let's do it. Come on, you. That's enough playing around. Let's do tumble roll, man. Yeah! Huh. Yeah! Huh. Whoa! What it is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Sing it! Oh, no. Man, my throat is killing me today. I don't know what it is. I think it's maybe the weather changing consistently. Like, seriously, that's the only thing that's been consistent with Florida's weather lately, guys. I know I talk about it enough because I know that's like the most entertaining topic for anybody to discuss, but if you want, if anybody who's ever lived in Florida understands where I'm coming from, or doesn't, you know, it's okay. Well, if you do understand, then you, you'll you be able to understand when I say this. The consistency of Florida constantly changing its weather patterns like a bipolar individual's mood swings. Yeah. That's about what it's been like. We're in technically what's called like early spring, winter kind of season. So you would think it would start to warm up. Well, one minute it's going to be really cold, and then the next minute it's going to be really hot. Yeah, I think I've already said this anyway. Why am I talking about it? Seriously, you can come up with something better. Jeez, man. Now I know why the Statue of Liberty stays in one place. Seriously, who wants to hop around with a torch in their hands? And I guess I can understand why these torches aren't moving, and I'm the one moving to them. And I just realized this past the... Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. I thought that torch went out. Yeah, I just realized I really kick, I'm kicking some Iguana Booty here. Nice. As long as I don't screw it up. Let's see, can I get 30? That'd be nice. You know, just saying. One more? Can I get one more, please? Okay, I'm happy. Alright, screw that. I'm done. No more. <laughs> I could probably get... I probably could do a lot better, but I'm like, yeah, that's alright. Alright, that's it! You darn right that's it. Darn skippy. Uh-oh, that was a little too easy. Oh well, here's your prize, son. We got a heart piece! Yay! Woohoo! Finally! And I was thinking of saving up to buy a big ship. Now it looks like I may have to go bankrupt. Yeah, that's alright. You ought to think like Beetle. Maybe he'll give you some business tips on how to run a ship business. Maybe that's what your dream should be instead of being a fisherman, because you really stink at running mini games. Anyway, uh, oh, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and head back to Cluck Town, and we're going to actually, I'm going to meet you guys on the third night of the, of this three-day cycle, and if you remember, we took care, we defeated Sack and the Thief, just de defeated, we stopped Sack and the Thief from stealing a bomb bag, well, kind of, in a creative manner. <clears throat> there is actually something you can do in response to that, so I will see you guys on the third day. Peace. Alrighty then. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is me tuning back in. We are on the third night of the final day. Well, geez, the third day is the final day, dude. That's kind of like double, double, that's redundant, geez. Anyway, down here in the curiosity shop, you'll find that this place opens up at about 10 o'clock. You're going to want to bring yourself 500 rupees. Uh, you gotta look around. I'm doing a special sale. Check it out, man. Tonight's bargain is the all-night mask for use at bedtime. I forgot when this was made, but it sure is a freaking mask, see? When you put it on, you can try and try to fall asleep, but you won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? So, what it would be? Let's check out the bargain, man. All-night mask. Let's buy this thing. Yeah, if you just, if you stop socking the thief either by slicing him with a sword or hitting him with an arrow, you'll be able to pick this up. Anyway, we got the all-night mask. Woohoo! Apparently this mask won't let you drift off to sleep even if you want to. Man, I need to use this for stats too. Seriously. The man from the curiosity shop was added to our notebook. You bought a weird mask. Well, geez. That's not much of a log to put in. Oh, I don't have nothing else to sell, kid. I kid you not. So, uh, can I buy some? Oh, sure, I actually have something he can buy. Oops. Oh, okay, I thought I had to... Never mind. I pushed a button, and thinking I pushed the button too fast, because sometimes you do that and you end up messing it up. 
Uh, for that, I'll give you 20 rupees. Sure. Take a stray fairy, and I'll get you. I'll get 20 rupees for that. Can I bust something? No, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Take care, buddy. Sure thing. I feel like I've talked to him and had him added to our notebook already, but for some reason on this file I didn't, I guess. I don't know. That's weird. Anywho, that's pretty much all I wanted to do, guys. I'm going to see you guys next time on the first day, once again. We still have a few more side quest stuff to do, but that, and I promise you all this, that will be the last episode for side quest stuff until we go to the uh, Stonehead, or not Stonehead, go to the Eastern Canyon uh, portion of this game. I'll see you guys next time. Love you all very much. Thank you for watching and thanks for being patient. As question of the video, if you could be a part of any type of tribe, would you be a part of the Zora tribe, the Goron tribe, the Ryoto tribe, or another type of tribe? Let me know in the comments, and peace out, y'all. Check it.